Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all fire signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. We have the King of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Wands. We have uh, the Ten of Cups. We have the Star, clarified by the Queen of Wands. And uh, we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, another Aries, another Leo, another Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. Yeah, it's a, it's a big, happy, fiery, passionate family that you're establishing. So it kind of feels like you're not sharing with other zodiac signs outside of the fire signs, right? Because we got the king and the queen of wands uh, in the same spread. So most likely you're a new person. Uh, for some of you, it's not this person is not so new, right? And for those of you who are already dating another fire sign, you guys are going to be taking it to the next level. Whatever that level is for you, if this is a brand new person entering your life, which is most likely a fire sign just like you, then now you're going to go all the way with this person. It's like an instant connection. You'll instantly click, right? So anyway, for the reading's sake, I assume you're the queen of wands, but you can ass uh, assign the also as you wish. You can be the king or the queen of wands, right? Anyway. We got the uh, King of Wands, the first card I came out, and it's classified by the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of communication, a lot of communication. It's also a card of travel. So if you meet this person uh, via a dating app and they're at a distance from you, it's not going to be a problem. They'll come see you, they'll uh, pay you a visit. Perhaps both of you are going to hit it off and go on the trip together. And uh, you don't have to go far, you can go for a joyride together um, or what have you. Right, but my favorite interpretation of the eight of ones is the Cupid's arrows, and I think the Cupid is striking both of you concurrently. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, the answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, we have uh, the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. See, there's two people. There's two people in that uh, card. That means both of you are on the same page. Both of you. I wasn't just making it up when I said the Cupid is striking both of you at the same time. This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people uh, feeling the same way towards one another. And uh, the second card that actually came out after the King of Wands was the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card. It's one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So again, if this is somebody who is already in your life, you're taking it to the next level. If this is somebody brand new, um, that's what uh, that's where the two of you are heading. Ten of Cups, the happily ever after. Then we have the star clarified by the Queen of Wands. The star is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star is a card of a wish come true. And this is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. And the star is clarified by the Queen of Wands. And like I said, I'm assuming that's you. Um, but yeah, this feels very mutual. Like bam, and the two of you are connecting right away, immediately. Really happy for you, fire signs. <laughs> Congratulations. Aries, uh, we have the Five of Swords, clarified by the Moon and the Nine of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by Temperance. We have the Emperor, and uh, we also have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, or a Sagittarius, or a Virgo, or any zodiac sign, even another Aries. Okay, um, <clears throat> somebody's going to make an attempt to reconcile with you, to get back into your good graces. Um, it's going to be up to you what you want to do. The very last card that came out is the Emperor, right next to the deck. That is your personal card, Aries. That is your major arcana card. That means you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots, right? Um, yeah, the two of you had a major, major fallout, right? The Five of Swords, the first card that came out, which is clarified by the Moon and the Nine of Swords. That card, the Five of Swords, is a card of a major fight. A fight that causes breakups, an ugly fight. This is when people slam doors on the way out, right? And uh, the Moon is the personal Pisces card that you could have uh, broken up with a, with a Pisces. But the thing about the Moon card, it's uh, one of the most emotional cards in the Tarot deck. And it's clarified by the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a, is a card of somebody who can't get out of bed, somebody who is crying, somebody who is stressed out. And uh, the Moon is pretty much amplifying that. Or they actually amplify each other, right? So one of you or both of you are really going through it because of this breakup, right? 
The Hermit on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, is the personal Virgo card. You could have been dealing with a Virgo, but the Hermit could be a card of somebody who is going within, doing some soul searching, doing a lot of thinking, and uh, I think that's them who is doing that. And when they come out on the other side of that process, they will figure that uh, they absolutely have to get back together with you. So here they come with the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. The Wheel of Fortune, both of those two cards are major arcana cards. We've got quite a few major arcana cards, by the way. Right? So the Wheel of Fortune, this is them wanting to restart the cycle between you and them. And Temperance, if it's not a Sagittarius you're dealing with, then Temperance is a card of healing, bearing the hatchet, and getting back together. Right, reconciling. But again, since the Emperor was the last card that came out, and it's your major arcana card, it's going to be up to you what you want to do here. Um, as I always say in uh, situations like this, Aries, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they will do it again. Or, but if uh, you just had the fight that unfortunately caused this breakup, perhaps you can give them a second chance. All right, cool. Leo, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, and we also have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, a uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or any Zodiac sign. Um, this spread could be about both love, or it could be about work, business, finances, some kind of collaboration. So you've got this King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. That is the person rushing towards you and I'm not just saying that because we have the Knight of Swords the Knight of Swords is the fastest Knight out of all four Knights and the Eight of Wands right next to it is one of the fastest cards in the deck this person could be at a distance from you they could be flying in, driving in, riding in <laughs> right? Um, depends on where you live um, the King of Pentacles like I said it could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or it could be a business person, an entrepreneur somebody who works for a financial institution. It could be somebody who wants to offer you a job, somebody who wants to collaborate with you, do business with you, what have you. If this is about love, then this person wants to get serious with you as quickly as possible. Right? So, speaking of getting serious, uh, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. That's what they are coming with uh, towards you. Right? Both of those two cards are part of the offer. The Three of Pentacles is uh, a card of collaboration. Right? So, again, it could be a work related offer or business related offer right or the three pentacles if it has to deal with love then they wanna build together with you for some of you the three of pentacles is still a workplace environment or a business place environment so you may already know this person uh, the three of pentacles could also be a gym you go to or a yoga class somebody from there right uh, but for most of you the three of pentacles is a card of them wanting to get serious with you as soon as possible because this is a card of when two people build something, well in this case a relationship together, establishing a solid foundation. The Ace of Pentacles, um, like I said, is a part of the deal. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, if this is about work, business and finances, this person means business. They really do. And uh, if this is a job offer, then I think you should take it, because uh, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces. It is a golden opportunity. Right? It will most likely pay you very well, and this is something that's going to um, support you for a long time. Right? Uh, if this is about love, uh, then uh, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, that this Ace often comes through as a proposal. I don't know if they're going to propose to you over the weekend, but uh, you will know for sure that this person is in it to win it. They want to um, be serious with you. They want, they're looking for a long-term stable relationship, and uh, they found you, Leo, and uh, <laughs> they believe you're the one. Again, with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands, um, they want to get the show on the road as quickly as possible. For some of you, it could be travel. It could be them showing up, or it could be both of you going somewhere. Right? So, yeah, this looks very promising. I like it. Sagittarius. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the Will of Fortune. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. Um, we have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the World. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a fellow Fire sign, Aries, uh, Leo, or another Sagittarius. So yeah, you've got a very dynamic weekend coming up for you. Let's just put it this way, right? You'll be dealing with two people. One of them could be an Air sign, 
Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, that would be the Knight of Swords. The other one could be a fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo or another Sagittarius, that would be the Knight of Wands for you. But don't get, don't get hung up on the uh, Zodiac signs, right? Because one of them, um, the thing about those two Knights, both of them are action Knights, taking fast action Knights, right? The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, they are on the slower side of things, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands, both of them are, you know, fast moving uh, Knights, right? So I think both of them are going to be very similar to each other and uh, I think you're going to have a hard time deciding to be honest with you, right? Um, and the, the clarifiers of those Knights are kind of confirming what I was just saying. The Knight of uh, Swords is classified by the Wheel of Fortune. It's a major arcana card. It's a, it's a card of a starting a new cycle. And the Knight of Wands is also clarified by a major arcana card, the World. The World is my happy end card. This is one chapter of one's life coming to an end, and a new chapter of one's life is about to begin. So essentially, in this particular spread, uh, the Wheel of Fortune and the World me mean the same thing. Pretty much the same thing, right? Both of them want to get the show on the road with you. We have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, that's you, right? That is definitely you, Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles is often called um, uh, the uh, Empress of the Minor Arcana card, so you're definitely the one choosing. The Nine of Pentacles is a great card to have. You know, this is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is in the spotlight, somebody who is doing great financially, somebody who is admired by many. And that's why there's going to be a, like a huge competition for you. Um, we have the Hangman, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles in the middle. So yeah, you'll, you'll take your time, right? Even though those two are anxious to get moving with you, with the Hangman, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles, this is you putting them on hold while you sort things out, while you figure it out for yourself. The Hangman is a card of stagnation, I think, happening. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, so they'll have to wait. And uh, the Seven of Pentacles, it could also be you. You see how that person in the Seven of Pentacles is looking at those pentacles? So that could be you looking at them, examining them, evaluating them, <laughs> basically taking your time to, um, like I said, sort things out. And that's, that's okay. I think they'll wait. Even though they're a little bit impatient, those are the two most impatient nights out of four nights. I think they'll wait. <laughs> All right? Cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.